went live. No, our viewer count. Our five beautiful viewers. All right, here we go. Round two. Let's do it. Let's get another win here. On the play, maybe. Uh, Lapless Jan won their round in this event. And uh, that was the Etron player we played against last night. So if we hit them, we know what they're on. Okay, we are against Sakij92. Sakij. Gabe Nassif wants me to guess what his Ikoria preview card is. I'm guessing something for blue-white control? Question mark. Well, that's not a keeper. I think one of the um, one of the other differences between the the two decks that I was considering for today, um, the other one was on a 25 land count, and this one's on 23. Um, this one's playing the full four Ren and six, so I, I guess you could cut a land for the Ren and six because your goal is to draw two lands plus Ren and six, and that kind of gives you every land draw for the rest of the game. But having the extra card traps. Oh, oh geez. Having the extra cantrips in the other deck um, kind of helped you get to one of your three Ren and Sixes and not need quite as many lands. So it's an interesting it's an interesting deck building consideration of like air versus, you know, I guess low impact. Alright. Uh this is better. It's not perfect, but it's better. I'm gonna keep this, and I think. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to ship Royal Scions or Force of Negation here. Um, I guess I could ship a Field of Ruin and assume I'm going to draw a third land somewhere along the way. Having double colorless source kind of sucks. I think... We got lots of time to draw another land here. I think I'm gonna take that that risky-ish line. Risky business. Do 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 do. Wooded foothills, no crack. So this is probably probably Titan shift. Ren and Six is my deck's Thought Not Seer? Yeah, I guess so. Sort of the workhorse, you know. Not exciting, but brings home the paycheck. Having trophy. Double stomping grounds. Oh, this is a slow draw from. from the Ponza deck, maybe. Colored land, colored land, colored land. That that is not a colored land. Okay, so we can't play anything this turn, just straight up. So we really want to top deck a land. If we have to, we can snap off force of negation here. Pitching probably drown. Industrious, yes, industrious. Nineteen fifties. Uh father figure, distant, but somehow somewhat loving. Archie Bunker of, of the deck. Pillage. All right, so I got to force this. Um, I, I want to pitch Ice Fang here. Because then I have the second force up, plus Drown in the Lock is about to be live. No, it's going to exile a pillage. Uh, Drown in the Lock is at least semi-live. I really want Royal Scions on, on deck next turn, if I can get it. And then to have the backup of Drown in the Lock or Ice Fang. Ice Fang is a cantrip. Drown in the Lock is really good. 
Let's pitch. I don't think I'm pitching Scions. I think the chance of drawing a colored land and having Scions go live here is really good. I need that. I need something to get me over the hump here. Okay, we're going to pitch the Drown, which kind of sucks. But... Land? Colored land? Yeah, buddy! All right. Uh, so we're going to play Royal Scions. I do have the option of playing one of these other cards, but playing Royal Scions here seems like the best by far. Start plussing this thing, it, it becomes quite threatening reasonably quickly. That's an okay pickup, I think. We ditch the trophy here and pass the turn. So I have Force here if I need it. We've got two draws next turn. There's a good chance there's going to be a Bloodbraid Elf here, which is going to kind of suck. For our heroes. Season Pyromancer's fine. What are the bad things that could have just happened to me? That is not the worst. Yeah. This is a really slow draw for like the the Grill Ponza deck. Okay, so we want to rip a Dead of Winter. Like that? Aw. I tried. I tried. Alright, so we're gonna pl plus Scions first. Likely ditching this forest. No, no longer ditching this forest. So we're going to ditch force, play a row, and then be able to play snake? No. Shoot, I screwed that up. Because we won't be able to play snake because of the colors. So do I just want to hold on to snake? And if I do want to hold on to snake, do I want to fire off a field of ruin? I think I'm supposed to get Uro in my graveyard because I can escape Uro next turn. Is that is that true? It's not, right? Because uh, I don't necessarily have the double colors that I need. Uh, I will be able to do that if I Ice Fang plus Field of Ruin this turn. So, okay, found the line. Pitch the other force. Do you anticipate using a second force? I mean, it's definitely possible. Um... The nice thing about the way we've set ourselves up now is that if they draw a Magus of the Moon, we just don't care. Um, similarly, Glory Banger right here is going to be like the worst it possibly could be for them, because after they attack is when we get to fire off the snake here. They're going straight to combat, sure. Yeah, attacking my Scions, sure. Okay, so. We're going to attempt to kill that and get a island. Nope, not an island. we got to get a forest. We'll get the island with this. I could have left myself with a situation where I could get it, but we didn't. Something weird happened and I wasn't uh, wasn't comfortable with the way that went down. Uh, unfortunately, due to the way that they did this, they, they do get to float the red and, and beat my Ice Fang here uh, if they have a Lightning Bolt, which is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I caught it. I was thinking the other way around, but it's all fine. Well, I can't escape the Uro next turn. It's in my hand. <laughs> I guess I can Royal Scions it into my graveyard. They're wondering if they want to cast a bolt with their mana before it clears. Because they didn't know if I was going to snake or not. And if I don't snake here, then they don't get to um, use that floating mana. So I think they have a bolt in their hand based on based on the way they did that. Okay, Allow me to block, please. I'd like to block. I'd like to solve the puzzle. Is it Ice Fang Coatl? It is. This is Clothis? God of Destiny. No, no, second season Pyromancer. That's okay. So more than ever, I would really like to draw that Dead of Winter. That would be fantastic. Um... 
it would mean I wouldn't get to Udo, but I'm going to get to see what... Wow, they're really playing into it. Please. Dead of Winter. Please. Top deck. That's not a Dead of Winter. Plus, also not a Dead of Winter. All right. It's fine. It's going to be great. We're going to be fine. Fine and great. Okay. I don't need to... Vista now, and Vista-ing does not get me anything particularly better here. I can't have the colors to also be able to play Ice Fang this turn. So to Vista or not to Vista, that question is largely irrelevant. Uh, actually, it's not because I could draw Ren and Six. So uh, Ice Fang out. Uh, we want to leave... A Vista. I think out of all the things in here, I'd most like to leave a Vista in there. I guess I'm about to put another one in there, so I should have left the spell. Oh well. Okay. I'm at 22. Do your worst, opponent. Do your worst. And then even with... They need to do a bunch of stuff here if they want to knock down my Scions. They do have 5 mana. So they can start bringing back Pyromancer tokens. They ditched a Glory Banger. Does that mean that they have another one in their hand, or did they just want to go for maximum tokens? Glory Banger here is fine because it can't knock down my Uro. They would be able to kill my Scions, but that's okay. Bolt. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't like the looks of this one. Second bolt. No, Udo. All right, now we're gonna lose Scions. Okay. Is this Clothis? This has got to be Clothis, right? Magus of the Moon. Sure. I'm gonna go get my black mana now. You didn't expect black mana from me, now, did you? All right, and they're gonna be able to. Take down my scions, but then next turn, depending on what we draw. Okay, do I play four mana brainstorm this turn? I'm pretty sure I do. Uh, otherwise, it's like ice fang and nothing. Um, and then four mana brainstorm means I probably I should have held on to this because I could have. Uh, I could have put that back on top instead of whatever I draw here. Four mana brainstorm means I have the highest likelihood of hitting the. If I if I hit a blue mana here, I'm gonna feel really bad. Hey, look, a blue mana, and I feel bad. Nailed it. All right, uh, we're gonna keep force and ice fang, and put cryptic. Oh, I can play the ice fang this turn. Nice. Put force and tree folk on top, or cryptic tree folk. No, yeah. Do that. Okay, so now we have Ice Fang on, on deck, so possibly we'll get to keep our Jace, but at minimum we can kill the Magus of the Moon. So it looks like we're doing pretty good here. And then we're going to get to play our Fat Tree Folk, which will not be as easily bolted by my opponent. You can bolt an Uro, but can you bolt a Tree Folk? I don't think so. They put four on Jace? You crazy bastard. Well played. Well played. Is the exact number I won't be able to deal with. How dare I? How dare I? I'm sorry, did you say how dare I? Um, yeah. Because these are all, all on Jace? Yeah, all on Jace. Cool. Uh, getting the Magus down, though, means that I can field them. Which means I can Uro again. Which is pretty great. I could probably fail them twice. <laughs> um, although, do I want to just cast Uro and Tree Folk? I can't do that, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So uh, I do have the land drop, but I don't have the colors. I need one more green and one more blue. So we're going to field and then play Uro. Uh, We're going to get another blue. I could field twice and play Uro. 
yeah, probably supposed to do that. That'll limit their colors by the most, which is not, like, the biggest of deals, but... We're a little down on clock. No, barely at all, though. Do, do, do. So I get to keep two cards in my bin. I think they're going to be Field of Ruin and um, an Ice Bank Waddle because I do still have my Kulagans Command in my deck. Uh, I'm going to get another blue. Sure. I've got the Astrolabe to finish casting a row here. So green, green, blue, blue. Udo, Python of Nature's Wrath. Uh, so field one, J Scions, Vista, Vista. Vista out and cast Udo. Okay. They are gonna bring back some Pyromancer tokens, but Vero really, really doesn't, like makes me not afraid of that. Snapcaster with Cryptic Command. Uh, what are cards that Zach loves to play together? Well, that's right. I'd like to solve the puzzle. What is cards that Zach likes to play? What you got, nerd? Nice blood moons. What do you want to do, Blood Moon me? Again? I still have four Dead of Winter in the deck right now, which at any point is just going to be ludicrous. Nice Ponza deck, nerd. Where's your glory banger now? What, you want to bang me? Eh? Eh? You want to bang this? I don't know. I'm just trying to kill time. Mustn't kill time, boy. You must seize it. Cherish the day. <laughs> Two blue, 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 blue. No problem. <laughs> That's my attitude. All right. The question is, if they go all in here, do I block any of this? I'm at 21. I don't care, right? I'm guessing they have Chandra Torture Defiance in hand. So... I could block one or two damage, or I could just take this. I'm going to just take it. Like, I'm really not... I really don't think I care, generally. Because, like, getting to swing with the Uro next turn means it's pretty... Yeah, so that was, like, telegraphed there. Please plus it. Yeah, they, so they plused it without activating Arbor Elf, so even if they flip something that they could have wanted to cast there, they wouldn't be able to. Okay, so we've got Tree Folk plus Uro, and then I've got Snap Drown. So the question is, do I do I tap their team and Uro kill their Chandra? I do, right? And I've got Drown and Lock back up. I'm at 16. They have 6, 7, 8, 9 power. So I can Cryptic tap their team, draw a card kill Chandra, and then have Snap Drown up. The other option is just attack, leave the Chandra in play for one more turn, cast Tree Folk, and have Cryptic back up. That's probably better against Chandra. Uh, if they play pre-combat Glory Banger, we go Cryptic Command, tap your team. So let's uh, attack, attack Chandra. I want to incentivize them to block as much as possible. When your deck, when your deck has cards that good in it, it feels really good to drop them. Oh my god! All right, so it is gonna kill my Uro. I I don't know if that's worth considering. Don't have enough five blue sources though. Uh, I can cast Tree Folk and Cryptic. I can cast Tree Folk, Snap, Drown. I don't, I don't need to do 
Yeah, but also... Okay, so I think... I think I'm supposed to play Dead of Winter Abominable Tree Folk here, but there is an argument for bounce Chandra, tap your team, drown her on the way down. So let's go upkeep. Go bounce Chandra, tap your team, drown her, crack for six. Yeah. I think, I think there is no wrong way to eat this Reese's. So return target permanent, tap all creatures. Get out of here. Skadoosh. This kind of means we have backup for like every possibility. I could also just force of negation her. It's probably the better play. Just force her. Hard cast. Hard cast the force. Because then they're going to have, uh, what, two mana, maybe three mana left? No. One mana, maybe two mana left. Which, you know, it's not going to be a problem. Next turn, we crack in for six, play the tree folk, and then uh, turn after, we can go dead a winner if we feel like that's necessary. Nice banger. See ya. Right, right into the bucket with that one. All right, seems seems like we're firmly in the driver's seat in this game. Um, let's go Kambat, do a little attack here, skadoosh. Oh, ran six. No. Um, okay. So. Oh, I should have um, I should have held the the fabled passage in my hand for exactly that potential sequence, because then I could have. Uh, Recurred the thing with Ran 6, but it's, it's fine. Um, they're at 10. I'm going to have at least 10 snow permanents, so I'm pretty sure my line here is forest. And then I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, I don't have enough for Tree Folk, Snap, and Cryptic. I'm probably supposed to just dead of winter the board and play Tree Folk, right? I have two mana left afterwards. I could just play the Renin Six there too. That's probably the best line. I can't see them killing me through Tree Folk, and I'm at 19. So I think we're just going to do that. So let's get a winner. Renin Six. Pick up uh, Field of Ruin. Why not? Play huge, huge creature. Huge. And then we can snap Cryptic. Their blockers if they manage to put out more than one dragon meat lock lock meat dragon glub 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 pitching snap to force chandra nah no chandra doesn't doesn't hurt me at all they can resolve a chandra with one one mana remaining all they want And as I usefully learned in a previous league, this Street Folk has Trample. <laughs> I mean, I could... I, the thing is, so I could snap... I could force Chandra, but she doesn't affect the board. She She's going to ding me for two or let them cast, like, a Lightning Bolt, and then I'm going to win the game. So... Is this what you're running in the challenge? I am in the challenge now, baby. We're uh, we are 1-0, and we just uh, we're now up a game in uh, round number two against Gruel. Gruel kill you with stuff. All right, so I think I want to go down some trophies and then up pushes. Winning game one feels really good against that deck too, and then I 
think I can go down forces. It's possible I get shot in the foot. I'm going to take two seconds and then try to figure that out. Rural land loss. Uh, no, they've been you, they've been updated on uh, MTG Top Eight. They're now um, Grill Utopia. I think that's what they're called. They're like Grill Sprawl. It has a Utopia Sprawl in the name because they're so heavily focused around the Arbor Elf thing. Okay. Um, maybe Coligan's command goes down. I just feel like I need to draw a Dead of Winter, wipe them, and then just win. Best card in Modern. Sprawl is way up there. Sprawl is definitely one of my favorite cards, and it has been for a long, long time. I just, I love the fact that you can't be messed with. Like, Damon nailed it. Like, this this card says, listen, I'm just going to... Yeah, Astrolabe's pretty good, too. It's, it's really tough, man. Astrolabe doesn't accelerate you, but I do, I do tend to play it more. It's card uh, quality, so... Okay. Am I happy with the sideboarding? I think I am. I think I am. Not having force is like kind of bad, but one Jace out for one force. Uh, Miser's force, maybe. But I want all my Dead of Winter. I just want to hit a land heavy hand and or uh, resolve an early Renzik. Or push their elf. There are so many games, especially game twos, where you play against uh, this deck and you're like, okay, well, you did stuff in game one, but this game, you just you just play an elf on turn one, I'm going to be ready for it. Play an elf on turn one, I'm going to be ready for it. And then they're going to play Utopia Sprawl, and we're going to be like, Ugh. Ugh. God damn it. At least they don't get to pillage me because I'm going to have a Prismatic Wista. Um, Cave Dan, I just got to catch up with the uh, podcast this morning. I was listening to it as I normally do while working out in the town square since the gym is closed. Um, but uh, I, I love you, sweet summer child. I love that... Dave had to be like, uh, the aristocrats is this like really raunchy vaudeville joke. And you're like, wait, what? It's like, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's totally a whole thing, man. All right. I, I think, I think I'm firing off Astrolabe here. It kind of feels bad because I take one and they might get to, uh, stone rain me. But I think that's right. Although in that case, I probably shouldn't have sacked the Vista. Aristocats, though. Yeah, I mean Aristocats is is cute. They play the piano and such. That's right. It's it's surprisingly racist. I mean, not not for that era of Disney or anything, but like, go back and watch that, and you'd be like, oh, wow, I really forgot about the Siamese cat thing and such. I mean, to be fair, the aristocrats, aristocrats joke thing, that whole deal is not, um, it's not particularly well known and it's, yeah, um, it's not particularly well known and it's, it's not, yeah, I mean, it, it definitely is. Same with, uh, Looney Tunes, right? You go back and watch some Looney Tunes, you're like, ooh, ooh, damn. 
Can't say that on television. Um, Dumbo has that too with the with the crows. If you don't remember, go uh, go check that out. But uh, or don't, as the case may be. But uh, the aristoc aristocrats thing is very dated. Um, but uh, uh, there's I, I don't know if it's in the documentary that Dave mentioned, but there's a um, Gilbert Gottfried does a, a good version of it in terms of versions. Of, so I think I'm playing Royal Scions here. Yeah, take the one. I'm going to pitch one of these Drown in the Locks. I should probably pitch an Aura. Okay, so we have the Abrupt Decay to maybe deal with the Cinder Vines next turn. This is one of those hands where I'm like, man, I wish I'd kept all those Force of Negations. That would be great. Maybe I should have them more in against this deck because... They do have a lot of air in their deck, so if I counter the spells that are, oh boy, is this just gonna be Glory Banger? Glory Banger is okay, because I can I can dead a winter that. Yeah. Okay, this is fine. It's gonna hit my Scions for four, unless they have a follow up bolt. We're okay. Chandra is getting close to uh, close to ultimate though, which doesn't feel good. Oh boy. Don't do more things. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Stop it. Just cut it out. I don't like it. Oh boy. Second cinder lines. Sure. They looked at the choice in front of them. Second cinder lines or. Um. Or something. Kill my Astrolabe, I guess, was the other choice. So that kind of sucks. All right, plus the science first. Wow. That is super unfortunate. This game has worked out very poorly for me. So... Yeah. I want to main phase this Ice Fang... And then if I draw almost any land in my deck, I'm going to be okay. So maybe let's do that. This is a really crappy place to be in. Just a row? Nah. When am I going to add Niv to this deck? Nah, we got, we got paid off. We got paid off. No problem there. Um, we're going to have to figure out a way to deal with this Chandra, which we do not currently have, but... Just Uro, maybe. Yeah. I really wanted to hit the land drop now, and I wanted to have the ability to cast something afterwards. Although, <laughs> admittedly, casting this Abrupt Decay into their Cinder Vines is not going to be the most fun thing in the world. Because they're definitely going to have the mana off open. Okay, so they're just going to shock me here, most likely. I don't think that they should play this Arbor Elf into my deck that clearly has Wrath. Yeah. Cool. If they don't exert here, I don't know if I'm blocking, because... Okay, they did exert. Makes sense. And they're knocking down my sounds. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, I just I just I wanted to grab I wanted to grab the land right away. We're about to be in a tough spot, kinda no matter what happens. They're gonna have to pop my uh, astrolabe here. Unless they F6. They F6. Huh. Okay, so Chandra is going to ult here if they want her to, which I'm assuming they do. Um, but for the moment, they don't have any cards in hand. So maybe this is one of those miracle games where you get to beat a Chandra ultimate. So we're going to escape a row and then maybe draw land. And any land that we draw kind of gets us going. Rather leave the Fable Passage. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Nope. Okay, so they're on Ult Chandra bust here. So, and even if they do Ult Chandra, they can't kill me, in theory, with the number of cards they currently have. So, we'll see if if that works out. 
Okay. They have a land. That's good. I've got an Uro that almost can. Jesus! Oh, man. That's the best possible draw. Oof. Oof. Oh, my God. There's no way they draw multiple lands here. There's no way. Just don't don't have drawn two spells, please. Not not two spells. No, stop, stop, stop it, stop it. Don't just kill me now. Come on, this is not fair. <laughs> this is the challenge, yeah. You can you can just cast it, man. It's fine. You can just cast it. You can cast it and kill me. It's fine. All right, Dry, died to like the most insane, best possible draw in their deck. Got it. All right. Um, if I were to, I, mean, I do want trophy because trophy blows up their um, lands with sprawl on it, and then. The Fatal Push was just rotting away, right? Like, I don't... I'm on the play now, so I have Ren and Six for their... For their uh, Mana Dorks. Plus Dead of Winter. So maybe the Fatal Pushes are excessive here. Seems like maybe they boarded out some of their land destruction there too. I didn't see any of it. They're just playing like Grawl mid-range now. So... Yeah. I think we just need to hit a good hand. Force of Negation maybe slightly better than I thought here. It's, it's funny because I feel like pushing this back in, taking the cake command, and then I'm like really close to the main deck. The only difference is the Jace for the Maelstrom Pulse. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just get lucky. Let's win. Let's go win and get lucky. But yeah, I was I was I I was thinking of actually a non-Niv deck, but with like a similar core to Niv, like playing Ren and Six into Fairy. Uh, but that's basically uh, Aspiring Spikes Four Color Prison Pals. All right, does this hand good? Seems pretty good. Hopefully they have Fetchland Elf. Hopefully we can draw more lands. We've got two redraws, so we should be okay here. Moles to six. Sakji. Saksiege. Saksiege ninety two. Okay. Trigger. Oh, that's a good one. That's such a good one. If I top deck. A fetch land, we're gonna be banging. Oh my god, it's the draw. We did it. Okay, we're 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 starting to fail to do it. Stop it. Stop it, deck. Too much of a good thing. Donk. Get out of here, nerd. Relic, sure. Yes, it's the it's the challenge. I, I said it was. Okay, so plus on nothing past the turn. Doesn't feel good, but they also missed their second land drop. I could main phase the Ice Fang, but I, I kind of want to have Drown up here. No. 
Boba Fett. All right. As long as I don't draw a third land, you can't draw a second land, all right? All right. Because you have one mana spells. I have two mana spells. It seems fair, right? You don't know. You, yes, it is. There's You hit record and it said... Okay. But you hit record and it says I'm playing in the challenge. There's also a league from like two days ago that's just like stuck there. Okay, so they also missed their land drop. Sick. All right, so Ice Fang is going to go the distance. This match is what I'm hearing. All right, we just need both of us to continue to miss our land drops. I would be, I'd be fine with that. I wonder if they're hanging out with like. Uh, an Arbor Elf or something in hand. Sure. Okay, so they're trying to trying to get to their land drop. They did. Oh, they also were able to exile their graveyard with that. So that's a that was a good that was a good play from them. Okay. This is where we start losing land. Uh, yeah, I can cycle that and then pick it up and play it. So let's do that. Oh, baby. That's what we like to see. All right. So is there any particular order in which I want to do that? No, I can pick it up and cycle it again. And then pick up the Fable Passage next turn for untap. Yeah, OK, cool. And am I worried about... A haste creature on three mana? I don't think so. I think we just discard a row here at end step. Oh, uh, no, we discard the redundant random six. Yeah. What do you got, nerd? Okay. It's gonna be Season Pyromancer? Season Pyromancer's not too bad with both this board state and but their hand is all spells, so they're going to try to get more lands with it. But it'll fill up their graveyard for Drown the Lock, so we'll be able to Clothus. Clothus is great. I can't beat Clothus now, but I will be able to beat Clothus eventually. To just win before it's relevant to you. Uh, the most important thing right now is for me not to keep a land in my graveyard on their turn. So I wonder if I'm not going to cycle the Lonely Sandbar. So let's get Swamp. Yeah, Swamp. Because I'm going to pick up that Fable Passage. And then what am I, what creature am I playing this turn? Tree Folk? Tree Folk's really big. And then Tree Folk's going to kill them really fast too. Tree Folk's also a snow creature, so if I Wrath on the next turn, then I don't... Yeah, okay. Jeez, just... Just clunking up on, on Drowned Locks. Oh, but if I sack this Fabled Passage for the... Yeah, okay, got it. So if I want to take the line where I don't have a land in my graveyard, it's only like play Uro this turn, which is not great. So kind of screwed up here. Playing Tree Folk as a 7-7 seven, seven seems really good, though. Should kill them pretty quickly. I can also beat pretty much anything that they can play on five. So uh, let's go island. Crack in for one. Doot. All right. 
So they have the choice of deal two to me and gain two life, or add one mana. I would guess they're going to add one mana. So they have a glory bringer that's clunking up their hand. Oh, they're going to drain me. Okay. So do they not have the next land? They do. So they must have Chandra. If they play Chandra, that's a really suspicious play, in my opinion. Fetch, sure. Trying to figure out how this goes horribly wrong for me. It's gotta be Chandra, right? Wish I had one of my forces here, but that's where we're at. Bayloth, sure. Okay. So if I attack with both my creatures here, hit him for nine. I think I'm just supposed to play Jace and bounce that. I can always do that post-combat. It means I'm tapped down. It's also just a huge tempo game, yeah. All right, let's see what they do here. Do they just block me? Cool. All right, here's my four mana unsummon. Enjoy. Skidoosh. Oh, and I can cycle Sandbar to try to pick up a Force of Negation if they play another non-creature spell. Snowman's doing snow work. So they can bail off here again and gain the life. Which is kind of pretty good. Seems alright. Blood Braid. Sure. Cascade into Season Pyromancer. Well, that's really good. But I think this means I kill them. Oh, I did I did draw that force of negation I asked for. I'm pretty sure what happens is I dead of winter and then I attack them for 10. Cloth is going to wake up here and kill my Jace. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, Cloth is going to wake up. Clothis and Bloodbraid can both attack. They flipped a choke into their graveyard there. Eep. But we just dead of winter their board and kill them? Yeah. Yep, cool. I believe we won. Do <laughs> They don't attack with Clothis. They are attacking my Jace. That makes sense. Okay, so the only thing we have to do first is use my Vista or play this Mountain. So play the Mountain, and we're actually going to get to kill their Clothis here, which is kind of disgusting. So Dead of Winter, take one, break your board, and uh, kill you. Duo with Snow Patrol, baby. Actually, this is Iceberg. 